Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. Today's class is designed for yoga with gratitude. You may or may not need a block, but most importantly, you're gonna need your body and your mat. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and join me every Saturday for new flows. Let's get this one started. All right, Omis, we're gonna begin in a comfortable seated position. You can start crisscross applesauce. I'm gonna begin in a supported heroes, lifted heroes pose. Um, so basically we're just sitting on our shins. Um, I'm gonna actually use my block for this. So I invite you to do the same as well. Just helps to lift us up and out of the hips, but especially if we're gonna take supported heroes pose, it just keeps us more lifted. Okay, so we're gonna to begin today with gratitude is the intention, but we're gonna begin with connecting into the breath and offering gratitude for our breath with some really cool things that I found. <laughs> so we're gonna start one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. I invite you to close your eyes, but if that causes you to feel uncomfortable for any reason, just bring your gaze down towards the floor and soften the gaze, soften the eyes. Now let's breathe into this space. See if you can allow your belly to rise first and then your chest. So it's said that we take 8 million breaths per year. And it got me thinking, especially for this class, how much gratitude can we offer for the breath and not just when we're on our mat? So... Our breath equals life or death. Breath equals if we're allowing anxiety to be in or if we're allowing it to be out. Breath can equal being in fear or being in love. And breath can equal health or dis-ease. The sister science of yoga, which is Ayurveda, says that actually our breath is completely connected to dis-ease. And if we aren't breathing properly, it's very easy to get disassociated from health, okay? So let's go ahead and connect with our breath here. Wherever you are, take a big audible exhale out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose. Audible exhale out through the mouth. One more, in through the nose, deep into the belly, let the hand rise, chest rise. Exhale out through the nose, let them gently fall. Before we move on, I want us to think about this intention today with our breath. And can we use this to bring ourselves back into a place of peace, regardless of where we find ourselves at on our mat? And in doing so, we're going to allow ourselves to offer the same grace to our body when we're off of our mat, no matter what situation we find ourselves in, connecting back into breath brings life back into the body, brings stability, brings peace. You slowly begin to open the eyes. Go ahead and remove the block if you have one. Place it at the top of your mat. We're going to bring ourselves into a tabletop pose. Okay, so we start slow, but like I said, you're going to be grateful for your breath as we move through this class. Okay, so we're going to start tabletop. Wrists under sh shoulders, knees under hips. Pull the belly in, lengthen through the crown of the head. We're going to inhale into our cow. And then we're going to exhale into our cat. Once we reach the, the tip or top of our cat, we're going to come into our bear plank. Lift up off of the knees. And then press back downward facing dog. And then we're going to reverse this. We're going to come back into your bear plank. Hold, drop the knees, lift the gaze, come into your cow. Exhale to cat. Again, once you peek, lift into bear. Press back, downward facing dog. And you don't need to straighten the legs here. Keep a bend in the knees in your down dog. Back to your bear. Release to table. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat to bear, hold bear, three, 
two, one, downward facing dog. And we stay. Finding gratitude in the pauses today, in between the spaces, but also finding gratitude for the flow. Bend into your knees here, pedal it out. Okay, then we're gonna come into a still down dog. Walk your feet together so your toes touch. Now we're gonna take the right foot, step it behind the left. Your pinky toe is to the outer edge of the left foot. You can have a bend in the knees here. I want you to press your chest back towards your thighs, getting a little stretch through the legs. Okay, and then we switch. Bring your feet back together. Step the left foot outside of the right. Bend into the knees if needed. Press your chest back. Go ahead and come back, regular down dog, feet or hip distance apart. Inhale, look forward. You're gonna exhale, step forward into your rag doll. Go ahead and take your feet hip distance apart here. Deep bend into the knees. Your hands can stay down. You can even take your hands behind your head to stretch into the neck. Or you can grab onto opposite elbows here. And allow for the head to hang nice and heavy. Breathe into the back side of the chest. And then we're gonna release the hands down to the ground. Toe heel your feet together. Inhale, come into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're gonna inhale, slowly rise to stand. As you come up, take your shoulders up, back, and down. Then we're gonna inhale, let the arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastitihi. Bring your gaze down to your fingertips or close the eyes. Let's take a moment here. And even though I set an intention with breath today, I want us to set our own intention for what it is that we would like to offer gratitude for. Let's connect with this intention with breath. Wherever you are, take a big exhale out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose, deep into the belly. Big breath, sigh it out. Slowly begin to open the eyes, release your hands by your sides. We're gonna float. We're gonna inhale, let the arms sweep up. Now we're gonna exhale, take your hands to your low back. We're gonna come into a supported back bend here. This may be enough just with the hands on the low back and that's fine. We're gonna inhale, pull the belly in, lift the heart, lift the chest. If you wanna go deeper, gently press the hips forward, but go very mild. And then we're gonna exhale, forward fold, release it down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Vinyasa, breathe out. Remember your options. You can hold plank. You can take a cat-cow. Or you can take your chaturanga. <laughs> Up dog, down dog. Right, meaning in down dog. Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, rise. Flat back, arms sweep up. Exhale, supported back bend. Whatever that looks like to you, just make sure if you're gonna go deeper, you really pull the belly in. We exhale to fold. Half lift. Vinyasa we meet in down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, maybe you add a hop to the top. Half lift. Fold, rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to low back. We're gonna pause for a moment. Inhale, lift the heart. Then we're gonna exhale, gaze up. Breathe into the chest. And we fold forward. Halfway lift, vinyasa. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step, hop, halfway lift, fold, Utkatasana, chair pose, arms sweep up. 
Okay, we have the option here to bring our arms forward like we're holding on to a ball. You can even take your palms flat like you're pressing onto a countertop. You can even bring your hands to heart center. <laughs> we're gonna inhale if we have healthy ankles. If we don't, we're gonna stay in our regular chair pose. Otherwise, we're gonna inhale, lift up onto the tippy toes. Pull the belly in. Ground through all two corners of your feet because two corners are lifted. We hold five, four, three, two, and one. Forward fold. Half lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, runner's lunge. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna inhale into a cow. So the heart comes forward, gazes forward. Exhale, press and round to cat. Cow, cat. Again, cow, cat. Inhale, crescent lunge. Come up. We're gonna exhale to pause. I have to pause and move something from under my mat. It's my notes on the breath. <laughs> okay, we're gonna inhale in our crescent. We're gonna exhale into our exalted. I know that's gonna drive Josh nuts because he's like, we could have stopped and edited it out. No, real life. <laughs> With our exalted, we're gonna squeeze the inner thighs together. Bend deep into your front knee. Take a big breath in. And then we're gonna exhale, look forward. This is where you can use your block. You're gonna come into your standing splits. Hand can be down to the block, hand can be down to the floor. Okay, your left toes point down. Now we're gonna inhale to open, lift the left foot up in line with the hip, micro bend in your standing leg if you need to. Open into your half moon. We're only here for one more breath. Now we're gonna exhale into Jiva squats. Inhale, half splits, exhale, squat, lift, squat, gratitude, lift, forward fold, feet together. Halfway lift, breathe in. We're gonna exhale, vinyasa, our way to downward facing dog. See, pause in the stillness, <laughs> offer gratitude in the stillness but also gratitude while we move. Like I'm super grateful. I no longer have a piece of paper under my mat that's sliding around. Okay, left leg to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, crescent. Runners, just kidding. We're gonna come into our cow, press into our cat. Cow, cat, in your cat, spread your shoulder blades apart. Cow, cat. Crescent, come up. Okay, draw your left hip back, right hip forward. I don't have to move anything on this side so I can actually cue you better through it. You're welcome. <laughs> One more breath in. We're gonna exhale, exalt. Left hand, right thigh, right arm up. Nice deep bend into your front knee. Pull the belly in, lift the pelvic floor. Take an inhale. We're gonna exhale forward into your standing splits, block or no block. Now we're gonna inhale, open the right hip, coming into our half moon, okay? Take your hand to your hip, lift the right hip up a little, rather the leg, extend the arm if you want, we're only here one breath, inhale. Exhale into your Jiva squat, half splits, Squat, split, squat, split, forward fold, half lift, vinyasa. Up dog, down dog. All right, omis, this is our flow. We got this filled with gratitude. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step hop to the top, half lift, Fold, chair pose, up onto the tippy toes if you can. We hold six, five, four, three, two, and one. Forward fold, halfway lift, chaturanga. Up dog, 
down dog. Right leg to the sky, take it up. Runner's lunge, cow, cat. Again, spread everything apart. Cow, cat, cow, cat. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, exalt, right hand, left thigh. Inhale, release, standing splits. Exhale, open into your half moon. It's okay if we flop around. Lift the pelvic floor. Exhale, jiva squat. Half splits, squat. Split, squat, split, forward fold. Gratitude for that, right? Halfway lift, vinyasa. Where's your breath? How are we using some of our 8 million <laughs> that we take? Left leg to the sky. Runner's lunge. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Crescent lunge. Exalt. Standing splits, half moon, open it up, jiva squat, split, squat, split, squat, split, forward fold, halfway lift, vinyasa. Last round through. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step hop. Halfway lift, fold. Chair pose. Lift up onto your tippy toes. We got this one for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg to the sky. Runner's lunge. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cow. Last cat. Inhale. Crescent. Exhale, exalt. Inhale around, standing splits. Open it up, half moon. Can you lift your bottom fingers off the floor? We're just gonna hold this for three, two, and one. Jiva squat, half split. Squat, split. Squat, hands to heart if you can, hold it. Three, two, one, standing splits, forward fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Or your version, remember you have options. Last side through, connect with breath. <laughs> I've gotten away from mine, but I have to talk through all this. Left leg, take it up. Lunge. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Crescent lunge, come up. Exalt. Standing splits. Half moon. We'll stay here for a moment. Can you lift your bottom hand off the floor? For three, two, and one. Jiva squat. Split, squat, split, squat. Hands to the floor or hands to heart. Hold, three, two, one. Standing splits, forward fold. Halfway lift. We'll meet in down dog.
Once there, look forward, drop to the knees, have a seat. Okay. Who's grateful for the pause? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be moving into our core section and building with our breath, but working with the breath of fire. What the breath of fire does is it helps to build our internal fire. Yes, we sh should be sweating. <laughs> And I always say, if we aren't sweating on our mat, could be because we're new to the practice and our body and breath are still trying to work together, but usually it's because we aren't breathing properly, okay? I get out of breath when I teach sometimes because I am breathing and talking and moving at the same time, right? All right, enough of that. There's your break. Offer some gratitude. All right, we're gonna be moving into our boat pose. Couple of options here. Um, my block is over here. I don't know why I was looking back behind me. Couple options here. You can stay lifted if this is too much on your back. Um, I just want you to listen to where you are, where you need to be today. Take your hands behind your thighs, roll your shoulders back and down, pull the belly in, and we lean back, okay? This is also an option you can stay. You can keep your hands behind your thighs. If you feel like it, you can extend your arms. We are going to move. So we're gonna lift the feet. We're gonna inhale to open, exhale to close. Open, close. Here we go, open, close. Open, close. Open, close. We're gonna open, keep the feet lifted, shoulders off the ground, hands face towards the floor. And we're going to do our breath of fire. Okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lay down. <laughs> okay. Take a moment here. <sighs> Heart rate is up. Feel that power within. Okay, so our heart chakra uh, is... The element of it is air. When we breathe or lack thereof, that dictates how our heart is going to beat, okay? Obviously movement is not included in that because movement gets the blood circulating as well, but the breath, come back. All right, we're gonna find our way over to a side and then we come up. And then we're gonna find our way into a forearm plank, side forearm plank. Okay, so we're gonna take the elbow underneath the shoulder and extend the legs out. Okay, so I have shown modifications. I'll show them every class no matter what. So if we need to be modified in our forearm side plank, we're gonna keep the bottom leg down and lift up. Okay, but that way we're supported. Otherwise, we're gonna come into our full forearm, which modified is still full for you, okay? All right, come into your, your forearm plank, and then we're gonna dip. You can even take your hand to your hip if you want. I like mine up. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Hold it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, sit down. Sweep it over. This is one of my favorite things to do for our obliques. Okay, so again, flip to the other side. Find your forearm plank, full expression for yourself. Okay, modified is still a full expression. Okay. Either hand up or hand to the hip. We lower, lift, lower, lift. Lower lift, lower lift, lower lift. Hold it, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down, sweep it over. Okay, so now, again, I'll offer modifications. We're gonna be coming into our um, plank to forearm movement, okay? One thing I do recommend for this is that we're switching. So I'll show you modified real quick. We're gonna lower and lift. Switch off what hand lowers and what hand lifts, okay? 
And that's just gonna keep balance within the body. You can totally do this modified with your knees down, just moving like this, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> I don't know why I laugh with this. Okay, otherwise, we're gonna come into our full plank. Belly is in. Navel draws in towards the spine. We're gonna take an inhale. Now we're gonna lower to our forearm plank. Then we're gonna lift and lower. Up and down. I'm not gonna cue this, we're just gonna move through it. Okay, keep going. Remember to switch off what side is lifting and lowering. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Child's pose. Press it back. I wonder if you can hear my heart in my mic right now. <laughs> it's beating. Come back to the breath. Okay, we're gonna inhale, come into a table. We're gonna exhale, downward facing dog. Make sure your shoulders, so do this real quick. I think we've been doing this the last couple of videos, but go ahead and lift the shoulders towards the ears and then drop them down. Lift and drop, stay with this drop so the shoulders are away from the ears and then wrap your shoulders around your torso. Okay, we're gonna inhale right leg to the sky. We're gonna exhale half pigeon. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Gratitude for our half pigeon. All right, hands can stay down. You can walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. And we're gonna exhale to fold. You can also come on your back, thread the needle. Use this time to listen to the breath. Come back to our intention. What are we grateful for? You made it through the work of this class, the bulk of the work. We're still working. And what can you offer gratitude for with your body in this space? on your mat. And we're gonna inhale to come up. Exhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and over. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, take it up. Exhale, half pigeon, or switch the thread of your needle. Okay. Inhale, walk the hands back if you'd like. And we're gonna exhale to fold. So the other side we focused on gratitude for our body, our practice, this space. But on this side, I want us to offer gratitude for something beyond our mat. What can we breathe gratitude in to beyond this space? Okay, we're gonna inhale, come up. Exhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and over. And exhale, downward facing dog. 
And we're gonna inhale lower to the knees. This is where you may or may not need your block. Okay, so we're gonna come into, I'm gonna start with us supported in our hero's pose. Okay, so our knees are together and the feet are out. We're gonna take our block and sit on it, okay? So this is gonna be modification number one, especially if we have tender knees, um, sore quads, <laughs> okay? So this is where we're gonna stay if we need to be modified. If we're gonna move on, we're gonna spread the shins and then sit in between the shins onto the floor, okay? And then we're gonna take the hands back behind us. So even if we're supported, we're gonna to begin to take the hands back behind to lift the heart, lift the chest. Really breathe into the quads here, okay? And then if you feel comfortable without your block, you can begin to lower down to your forearms. Listen into the body this whole time, okay? So this may feel really good if you're wanting to stretch into the quads. I'm really sore from <laughs> strength training that I did the other day. But if it doesn't feel good, come up. There's no need to push it. Right, I say this all the time too. Y'all, we're not aiming for Instagram yoga, okay? That is a thing of the past. <laughs> we are aiming to feel good within our body and our practice which is different from everyone else, right? And we're gonna slowly come up. So if you're down, go ahead and come over to one side, lift up, and then everybody come forward off your block. And we're just gonna tap the feet out. Okay. Now you can move your block out of your way. And then we're gonna bring the knees together. We're gonna to sit back onto the heels. We're gonna come into one of my favorite, um, well, yoga poses are kind of like kids. You can't really pick your favorite, but um, one of my most comforting yoga postures, we're gonna come into rabbit pose. Okay, so we're gonna take the thumbs to the outer edges of the feet. I'm gonna talk you through this. You're gonna tuck your chin towards the chest and you're gonna round forward, bringing your forehead to the knees or towards the knees, and then you're gonna lift the hips up. As you lift the hips up, draw the forehead closer in towards the knees. It's okay if it doesn't touch. Continue to lift the tailbone. To come out, keep the chin tucked, hips to heels, and slowly rise. Okay, this is a great posture to do if you're angry, um, if you have insomnia, as you notice that you kind of get a squeeze on the throat, this um, massages your thyroid, parathyroid, um, but also your throat chakra, but we're opening the backside of the heart and we just feel like this nice release. Okay, so that's why it's comforting to me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> Swing your legs forward. All right, we're gonna find our way onto our backs. Once we lay down, we're gonna draw the knees to the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Take your arms out to a T. Lift the hips up, scoot them over to the right. Drop the knees to the left. Okay, so take this as deep as you want. You can go with a bind on the legs or not. But your gaze falls over to your right hand. Close the eyes here if you can. See if you can keep your right shoulder connected to the mat as you work your right hip towards the left corner of your mat, top corner of the mat, so towards the feet. Okay, we're gonna come back through center, hug the knees into the chest, and switch the twist. Hips over to the left as the knees drop right, gaze to the left hand. 
Now do your best to keep your shoulder connected to the mat as your left hip now works towards the right top corner of your mat towards your feet, past your feet, I should say. We're gonna inhale, come back, draw your knees into your chest, draw your forehead in towards the knees, take a big deep inhale. And we're gonna exhale into our final Shavasana. Feet out as wide as they can go, palms face up, eyes close, and allow yourself to be fully supported in this space as you allow for all of the medicine and the healing that our practice brings us to settle into the body. And slowly bring movement back to fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Let's inhale, extend the arms up overhead, point the toes forward. Exhale, draw the knees into your chest and find your way to your favorite side. And as we pause, may we stay within the emotion of gratitude allowing for the gratitude to flow beyond our mat into our life. When you're ready, press yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Once there, bring your hands to your heart center. Gaze down to your fingertips. Close the eyes if you can. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Hands to our lips, may our words be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you, and together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. Omis, I'm so grateful to have each and every one of you practicing with me. Go ahead and put in the comments below, what are you grateful for this year? And as always, if you haven't yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really does make a difference for our channel and our community. Turn on those notifications and join me every Saturday for a new flow. All right, Omis, I'll see you next time.